please welcome Nanny Rabina. We're throwing a baby shower. How are ya? You've gone all out here. I mean, this is gorgeous. If you think back to 10, 20 years ago, people were not doing showers like this. And no. this is not just for the baby. You can do this if you're getting married, having a wedding shower. It's gorgeous. It's it, multi-purpose. <laughs> it is multi-purpose. I gotta tell you, pink and blue, still in, but a little bit two years ago. Right. Showers have come an awful, awful long way. Things are very, very different. If you remember, the last time we did a shower was for Claire. It was shabby chic. Yes. We were doing shepherd's pie and masonry jars. It was yeah. very woody. You know, so you've got to go for the theme that suits the mom. For sure. You know, Claire was marrying uh, a guy that was British, so we went for a pub theme. Yeah. This is this basically is a theme for a mom that's very chic. Very sophisticated, you it's know, and that's why I say it's so transferable. If you look at the tablecloth, you've got the gorgeous black and white stripes. That is never going out of style. It is always going to be classic. And I love the fact that there's gold. So you want to think about setting a theme. Yeah, absolutely. So think what your theme is going to be. And obviously, you're hosting for probably for the, the mom to be right. so you've got to tune into what she likes right mm -hmm. so this in this case it's black gold and white very very glamorous very glamorous but you don't have to run out and spend a small fortune yeah you, you shouldn't know, have to you, you shouldn't have to that some of these things you're going to find in your christmas stock like i think most people probably have a gold charger tucked away with yeah. their, their Christmas themes. See, look know? at how this has been done. So yeah, do take that from your Christmas, take your, it from Christmas your Christmas platters. Stuff. Have a little mood chat. You've probably got some of these things already in the house. That's right. You know, even down to the, when you actually send the invitation, yeah. people are actually going to know. So carry your invitation through with the same color theme. People are actually going to know then what the color theme is. They're going to see that it's black, Gold, oh, white. I like that. Okay, so isn't that cute? Even on the other side, you've got the same as the tablecloth here. Yeah. And you better wear those colors when you show up. Just joking. <laughs> you imagine, don't get all demanding, okay? It's a really nice party, but be, wear what you be want. A baby shower Godzilla kind of mom. <laughs> So um, I love the fact that you've got these little touches. So you not you're you're doing the gold, white, and black theme. You've got the beautiful gold beautiful flatware. Yeah. I think it's so gorgeous. But you also have this beautiful gold pen. pen. Everyone's getting a gold pen, and they're going to use these to play this little game. Yeah, and so you know what? what? You game? can you can allow your guests to take the pens home. It's a little souvenir from. Well, the you game, should. Right? Yeah, yeah, let them take it. And you know what? You've got we have a paper here, and you can find these, or you can print them out at home. Advice moms to be. Uh -huh. Now some people can get real saucy with these because I've actually been to baby showers and they've written some pretty funny things on there really? especially the men they don't always have babies in mind when they ride on these put it that <laughs> way yeah advise moms to be so you know again carrying that whole color theme through and these are things that, again you can print off the computer create yourself yeah. even down to the flowers we haven't gone for pink yellow we've gone for the same color we've oh, gone for fresh. white flowers to blend in very nice yeah speaking of white the chairs as well the chairs. So you don't have to you don't have to go out and buy new chairs. No, um, you, you can rent or you can take the chairs you already use when you have extra over capacity in your house. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, and it's something you know. Well, here and there you've got to splash out and spend some money. A lot of the stuff you don't have to, but this is something you'll probably have to buy if you want them all matching. You're probably yeah. going to have to rent rent some nice rent chairs. Rent them out. Yeah. The other thing that people are doing now, which I think is very cool, is uh, gender reveal parties. Oh yes. So they're actually doing. We're not going to talk about the gender until we show up to the event. Yes. And the event is all about letting you know it's a boy or it's a girl. And of course, as soon as you walk in, there's no pink, there's no blue, so there's no gender revealed at this point, yeah. right? However, so first of all, this is, I have to thank Nancy Zareski from My Perfect Party because she put this fabulous whole set together here. It's gorgeous. She always does an amazing job. And again, as we talk about the gender, again, it isn't revealed at this point, but yes. the food is actually matching our theme. Yes. We've gone again. And, Look down to the Oreo cookies. I love it. So why would you want and raspberry white? cookies and go pink when you can go with the color theme and stick? We don't care if nobody likes Oreos. We're going with the color theme. I like that. <laughs> I like that's what's me, important. For me, I would always choose a color theme that had brown in it because yes. I need to have chocolate. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> I've made that mistake before, and it's like I can't do strawberry. Like this is not going to work. We're not doing pink. And Black that, and that, white, brown and white. You're good. And that brings us down to what the mom wants. So in this yeah. case, mom has a sweet tooth. So we've gone for a sweet table, right? And again, everything is done so individual with the popcorn bags here but even the Look bags are matching but people can pick them up and walk around and mingle with the other guests and take little bits and pieces with them right the food itself it 
cater to what you like. So let's pretend this is for you, Tracy, because you are. This is perfect. This is perfect. This perfect. is your. This is for you. Down to gumball. Look at this, mums. Gumballs white. I love this. You know. Yes. So you can't have the multicolored. You've got to go the extra mile so that it looks this eloquent. Yeah. If you're going to do that, down to the drinks. You know, even the drinks. So look at this. These are just little milk bottles, and I think you can actually purchase these in various places. Yeah, you now. can. You know what? Put your own personal touch with a ribbon. Again, white gold ribbon. Right. Down to the drink. I suggested grape, and they're like, no, no grape juice. <laughs> it's got a match. No yeah, grape so juice. It's got a white and clear water. little slice of lemon. It's water and okay. coke. Finally, the cake. Okay, so this is obviously, I don't know if you can tell, it's a non-edible cake, Mom. You can't eat it. But right. if you're doing a sweet table, you may not want the cake to be you know, edible. So this is a diaper cake. It will make a great theme. These are all diapers. Absolutely. What and so a great this is idea. from yeah. And so this is uh, thanks to Julie from Angel Cakes. Yeah. You've done a beautiful job. But if you were to have an edible cake, maybe that's where you would reveal the gender of the baby. You could cut into the cake. The cake yeah. could be pink. The cake could be blue. You know, you, you could make fun. You got to make fun about it. Maybe in these white gumballs there's one blue one or one pink one, and somebody's going to find it in there. You got to make it fun. Like That's make, pretty intricate. Make keep guessing. Yeah. And I so, love that. so basically, yeah. Take these ideas, uh, use them for whatever showers you have going on this year, whatever parties you have going on, because these are sort of the rules of any of all entertaining, right, Rubina? Absolutely.